What is up everybody, my name is Fives, as you will know where else you wouldn't have clicked on today's video, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I had to turn off my light, because it was getting hard to see. Well everybody, um, Red Dead Redemption, last episode we um, we got all of our affairs in order. Now we need to go help Bonnie, but before we do that... We're going to do this. Property destruction at, at the Hanging Rock. $40 alive, $20 dead. Yo, we accepting this. And we getting that $40. Alright. Black Boat. Gotta get ourselves another bounty because we bounty hunters. Let's go. Is there another one ready? Oh, wait, does the dog respond to me? Well, that's adorable. I love dogs. I love cats. I love all animals. I'm gonna go in here. Guns blazing. You stay here, Black Bolt. Daddy's gotta go to work. Oh. Okay, this might be a gamble. But screw it! Ow. No. John, get up. John, don't fall in the glitch. Oh, thank God, John. Is that a short double barrel? Oh, it's a sawed off. I like it. I like it. I'll get down from there. Much obliged. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. Says I'm a cowboy. The six string on my back. I just shot his hat off. That was cool. I just shot his brains out. That was even cooler. You are dead. And I did shoot you in the head. And I got an apple off you. I'm not sure if I want to eat that apple though. Because I'm pretty sure the red isn't all skin. Probably some of your blood. Last time I was here. We needed the deputies and the sheriff and everybody. I'm pretty sure I can just take them all by myself. Oh, look at them. Thinking that they're actually a threat. Huh. Bank. Wow. They're supposed to be like hard, actual like cowboys. He fell off. Oh no, now I'm falling off. 20 against 1, we can take him. But who is he? It's John Marston. Just, I'm just coming around the corner. John Marston. You. Get down. Oh. Oh, you're being held hostage. Huh? Where's my bounty? Oh, I just got a pardon letter from it. Oh, I wasn't even close to it. That was just like an event. Alright, Black Bolt, we need to actually get this. We're getting this. I mean, we're getting near Hang Rock now. Let's go, Black Bolt. I'm gonna jump on you like we did in the last video. Oh, not as cool as it was last time. Go, go, go. We gonna get this bull. We gonna get this foe. Where's he at? Yeah, he's gotta go to work, Black Bolt. Don't worry, it'll all be fine. I just need to collect the debt. Bang! Bang! 
Oh, that's nice. That's some nice stuff for me. Now you. I'm here for my bounty. Now. Stop yourself. I just shot you in the leg, buddy. Ain't much you can do now. Let's go. Man, I went right through your kneecap, dude. How are you still moving your leg? Hey, Black Bolt. Now, you're coming with me. now, can I bring you down to, uh... I can. I can bring you down to Armadillo. I can see you from here. You run fast oh, you, here. of course, want to get some. You want to get some? I must warn you. I'm the deadliest gunslinger in the whole West. Oh, Sheriff! I have a gift for you. you, found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Where's my where's my sheriff? Where's my where's my good old boy? Yo. Where you at? Where's good old boy at? I'm, I miss him. I haven't seen him. Time lapse mode now. Bonnie, I'm home. Now what's going on in here? Oh no, I see cows. I don't want to do this. Come on, come on, let's go. Amos. Get them in there. Come on, come on. Amos. Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just as upset about it as you are, bro. Let's go. I do not want to do this. I hate hurting in this game. It sucks. We going? Sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. As we literally lost everybody else. Alright, there we are. Hey, everybody. Let's go. Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. Come on, I can't do this all by myself in this weather. Alright, see if we can do this better than I know how to stop. Let's go. Hey, 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 This way. Good, good cows. Oh, no. Oh, we were right there. Yeah, I gotta move in front of them, slow them down. Oh. 
Stop it. Hey, what the hell? I'm in front of y'all. Slow it. Slow. Slow. Alright, get in the pens. Get in the pens. Now, go. Get. All right. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. Farland. Nice. So now we're gonna go back to Bonnie. It's never gonna end. The burning. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Hmm. I think he might be dead. What's going on? I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Mr. Farland. He built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Mm, he's still gonna be dead. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New Come York. On. It's a bad idea to split up right now. He should be here helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Who's that over there? Whoa there. Come on, let's hurry. Quick as you can. Daddy, what happened? Nothing nice. Russers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Please stay close. Get up! Stay with Come. me! Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Mmm, we're gonna come back and he's gonna be dead. Those Wait. Wrestlers, I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. That's a fire. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Uh, Bonnie? I think the ranch is on fire. I knew it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh god, they're gonna be dead. Easy. Somebody get them horses out. It's getting worse. Put it out. Get a move. The doors are blocked. We need to find another. How did I just do that? I, I kind of just broke the game. Let's go, come on. He did it. Now get the horses out. She can't even get in there. Get the horses back. Get it moving. 
<laughs> Just come on. Get out of here. Get. Let's go. Come on. We can make it. We'll make it. Good horse. Good horse. Um, what about your father? I'm sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indian. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's been up. Mm. All right. So I guess we're just going to completely ignore the fact that he's out there. Alright. Let's go. Is that it? Is this... The Kill Bill? We're about to kill Bill, everybody. Let's go kill Bill. Endless whistling. Let's go. Don't even stop. Let's go. That was pretty cool. Oh, I see a stranger. Stranger danger. What's going on, sir? Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. I wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. I am very sorry about that, guys. My, uh, mic started messing with me. Yee yeet, Black Bolt, yee yeet. Back to the time lapse. Chola Springs. More like Cola Springs. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? She hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. 
You want, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next little mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Damn, they got Bonnie. You were just saved like two minutes ago. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Damn it. Come on. Let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. I don't know if I beat you there first and kill everybody there. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Come on! We need to get to Tumbleweed! Damn, how far is Tumbleweed? It's a little ways away, isn't it? Where is it? He's landing Great Plains. I have no idea where Tumbleweed is. Whatever. Just go there. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right hand man. In other words, the glorified Aaron you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slipped. Hmm. <laughs> built you with late once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. No popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Thing is, we were just in Tumbleweed like two episodes ago. Taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable. Different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pam. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Hey, 
much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East get to decide how a man in Armadillo should live his life? Yeah. Well, maybe you're right about that. Exactly. Where are you from, Marston? Lots of places, I suppose. I've been living up on a little farm in West Elizabeth for the past few years. No, I mean, what's your nationality? I'm Irish myself. You're about as Irish as I am Scottish. I hope to have a spotter yet. I ain't had my turn. Yeah. I can't wait for you to meet the boys. Deke, I will pump you full of lead before we even get there. Slow down, will ya? Marshall, speed up. Uh, bridge. I was flying past this the other day. Here we go, tumbleweed. Are you about to kill Bill? John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Tear my ass. You bet. Mm. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been Come on, Deke. Don't we pop some lead into you. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath from freezing? Come on now, boys! Cut me loose! Careful, you clodhopper! They just shot Deke. They didn't even care. I'm coming to save you, Bonnie. Where is she, you bastard? You don't want to do this, my friend. I will fight you. I will send you straight to hell. No, why I froze up right there for a second. Where is she? Where is she? I'm trying to do like the Batman. <clears throat> Where is she? Where is she? Ow. Oh! <gasps> no! Bunny, no! Bunny, no, bunny, no, bunny, no, 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 You mother... Trying to hang my body like that. Mm. Stick your head back up. 
Check it out. Boom. Boom. This is for Bonnie. You think you get to run away after what you did? Bonnie, you okay? Okay, she's breathing. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> That's a great thumbnail right there. Well, we didn't get to get him yet. Well, I guess next episode, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kill Bill. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give a big, fat, juicy like, because you know that is always appreciated. And if this is the first video you've seen by me, please sub please consider subscribing. I can't speak. Well, everybody, like I said, we do daily videos like this every single day, and we do weekly streams. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can see everything first thing I do it. Well, everybody, that's all I can say, so I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.